Hi there. Um, doing the sounds made me realise I've overlooked something quite important. And I'm going to demonstrate the problem here. I'm in the level class. And if you remember quite a while back, we moved the spawning of the ships to be inside this if. So they'd only spawn if it was game over. Just to demonstrate the problem, I'm going to move this back out of there. I'm going to save it and test it. And the problem we have at the moment is with the garbage collection in Flash, which I've mentioned before is actually fairly um, self-sufficient for the most part, but we have a problem because of the way we've set up certain objects, namely the turret. So if we hop into the game, the sound's going to get very annoying, so I'll, I'll mute it after a while, but if I quickly, well, as fast as I can, die, we'll see the problem. <coughs> so we can hear the ships. Every time they blow up, we're getting that explosion. The problem is that when we die, and this level goes away, we can still hear them. Even if we go back to the menu, it's still going. I'm just going to tone it down a bit. It's still going in the background. We start a new game. The old ships are still going. And that's totally not what we want. And that's because the first level isn't being garbage collected. Sorry. <laughs> Joking. It's not being garbage collected properly. And that's all due to these stage references we have in the turret. And I think we have one in the level itself. We also have a reference in the game flash file. We have an event listener on frame 3 here that is added directly to the level, which I forgot to remove. So we've just got to do a bit of housekeeping really. So we're going to hop to the turret class. And we've got a little function that adds event listeners to the stage. Now it's, it's arguably not a good idea to ever do that. We have done it, we'll just have to deal with it now. We could always edit the code to not use them, do it in a different way. But, I'll show you a different way of doing it, we'll just handle them. In the constructor of the turret, we add an event listener that does something when we're added to the stage. What I'm going to do is copy that, paste it underneath, well, not underneath the function, just underneath itself, and change the added to stage to removed from stage. I'm going to change the function to be called cleanup. So we'll comment it. Clean up when this is deleted. So we need a function there. I'm just going to copy this one. Copy the initialize. Paste it just above. Rename it. What we have to make sure we do is remove these event listeners from the stage because anything that has an event listener still attached to the stage will not be garbage collected and that's why the level is never being removed. So in the turret when we're removed from the stage we're also going to remove these event listeners. I'm going to save that class and go to the level class and do something similar because we have these keyboard events that are added to the stage. So we obviously don't want those either. The quickest way is probably just to copy what we just did. Copy this. Go to the level. Paste it in. Make sure the brackets still line up. So we don't need this extra bracket. And instead of removing the mouse events, we'll remove this stage, uh, sorry, this keyboard event. So that's protected. Paste in the add, change it to remove. So the level no longer has <coughs> the level no longer has a reference to the stage if we save it, and the turret no longer has a reference to the stage. Make sure they're both saved. Final one is in the FLA itself. I'm going to copy this event listener that we add to our level. I'm going to go to this function, this do game over, 
and make sure that we remove this event listener. And that's in the document class. That's where we put it. So let's find do game over. There we go. Before we tween out, I'm going to remove the event listener. Remove the event listener so the level can be garbage so, uh, collected. <coughs> Remove it. Now in theory, that should be garbage collected, but we still have a problem. If we, we look at the game, we'll still hear it for a good while because um, Flash doesn't garbage collect instantly. It just does it when it deems it necessary. So unless we start doing something quite intense on memory processing, the level won't be instantly garbage collected. We'll demonstrate that in a second. So you can still hear it going on. If I keep going, it'll carry on. It will eventually stop, but there's no knowing when. It's kind of random. You start another, another game, and it's still going. You can still hear it going, so let's just assume it's going on for a while. What we can do in this case is force Flash to do its garbage collection. And in this particular case, I think it's best to do it when we tween out. So when some when a new we could do it when we tween in. When a new frame tweens in, if we find the tween in function, I'm not quite sure where I put it. Here, where we tween in. Just before, before we tween in, we'll force the garbage collection to remove any old levels. And we do that by accessing system.gc. And it also means we're going to have to import this system. Up at the top, we'll import flash dot system dot system Oop, not security system save it test it cross your fingers as we always do make sure we can hear it just leave it so we die come on ships faster Between out, the game over tweens in. Okay, it's still not been collected. But when we finally go back to the menu, it has been. So it did I, I'd rather it cleaned itself before the game over screen. So let's just edit where we did the garbage collection. So I did it on the tween in. Do do do. So I've got it there. I'm just going to cut that. And I'll do it at the end of the tweened out instead. So when we've tweened everything out, before we jump to a frame, let's try it there. Save that, test that. Hmm, it should have worked last time, but oh well. <laughs> this is technically the same point in time, so it might not work this time either until we go back to the menu. Might just have to have a noisy game over screen. Oh, that stopped. That did it. Can't hear anything. Blissful silence. So, yes, I do apologise for missing something that obvious. Well, obvious when you've been using Flash for a while. It probably wouldn't have registered to think that the levels weren't being deleted if you're um, <coughs> new to it. But that's garbage collection. If you take anything away from this video, just make sure that any references to the stage, as we have here, any references to the stage are removed, otherwise your object won't be removed. There are various other ways around it. You can change the way your event listeners work so that they're, um, they're what's known as weak references. By default, event listeners are strong references to the object they're added to. If we make them weak references, they can be garbage collected. But 
just making sure you've removed event listeners is, is good practice anyway. You should really remove all of them. I've been a bit sloppy rushing through things. Just make sure that for every event listener you add, you have a corresponding remove event listener to get rid of it when it's no longer needed. And in the next video, we'll get back to actually making the game. Now that we have a clean flash file, hopefully. Touch wood. See ya.